Hi everybody, Steph here. Today what we're going to show you is a Crone fountain pen. Now the first thing is this large box, it's actually even too big to put where my setup is here, but the size of this box from one side to the other at the top here is actually 20, uh, sorry, 250 millimeters long and from, from this to this side here in depth it's approximately 200 millimeters in depth. So it's a very large box and if we take off take off the top here and pop that to one side and inside you've got this lovely again this very large but leather um, case inside now the strange thing is if if we open this up what we have is quite a small pen inside it's a little bit of an overkill now it comes in this sort of uh, silk silk line case um, to the to the other side there you can see it's got the crone symbol to the back and I believe originally it would have had a little ink bottle in here a complimentary ink bottle but this particular one um, comes with the instructions you can see it's got the little instructions there and what it's also got is the purchase details or the guarantee now what we'll do we'll hide the gentleman's name as you can see it was bought in May, May 2003 from the uh, pen stop line in Brooklyn New York and this particular one is what they term as the chrome vintage stretch now let's take the pen out of this very large case and let's be a bit careful put the case to one side and what I'm going to do at this point is just to adjust the camera a little bit for a better better there view. There we go that's a little bit better now so Here's the pen and what we've got is this lovely, lovely colour, this red chrome fountain pen. As I say, I believe this one is a chrome vintage, it may be the select stretch fountain pen. Um, again, as you saw before, dated, it's purchased 2003, so that's when we're going to actually date it. And I believe the colour of this particular pen, I'm not too sure, but it may be what they term as fireball red. And it's got these two sterling silver pieces of trim if you like it's got this lovely um, cap band to the bottom with this sort of like a Greek effect pattern around it and if we show you the clip there again I believe that is stainless steel sorry stainless st sterling silver as well and if we cho show you the very top of the cap there you can see it's got the the crown symbol at the top there which is the crown um, it's their particular symbol if you like all in all a gorgeous colour a lovely pen however slightly on the small side from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel there it's approximately 127.4 millimeters capped it's quite a chunky pen i.e. around the barrel here it's approximately 13.5 millimeters in diameter now, all in all, as I say, a lovely colour. Now, chrome pens, I believe, are made in Illinois in the USA. But I do believe that they have the, actually have them manufactured, well, in other places, such as Italy, Germany. And I believe they actually use Russian artists to paint some of the pens. Now, a lot of the chrome pens are very, very expensive. They're very high class. And a lot of them are actually, are, well, a lot of the pens actually have a tribute or a piece towards world, um, a piece of world history, if you like. And in some cases, the pens actually within the pen have a piece of, of a historical ar artifact. Okay, but this particular one, as I say, it's this particular vintage select stretch. Now, Let's take off the barrel which unscrews. Let's take a lovely twirl of the pen like so. Again, absolutely gorgeous colour. You can see it's got this slight tapered section to the top there. And if we show you the nib there, you can see the nib is a lovely two-tone nib. Let's keep it nice and still. You can see, again, it's got the crone symbol to the top of the nib there it's an 18 karat gold nib and it's also telling us it's a medium now if we turn it over and show you the the feed 
again you can see it's got this very stylish feed to the back slightly slim feed if you like and let's show you a sideways version all in all a gorgeous gorgeous nib now the lovely thing about this particular pen that I like is that what we do we actually unscrew the blind cap there and what you have is a is a button filler fountain pen now for quite a modern pen they, they refer well it, it's actually a more vintage style of filling this or filling a particular pen these button fillers so I quite actually like that so for you people again that like to see pens working and writing what we need to do is dip the the nib into the ink and what we do we press on this button here and it tells us to press it and leave for approximately about 10 seconds but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to leave it for a, for a couple of seconds just so it has a little bit of ink just for um, just so we can do a little writing sample so what we'll do we'll dip that in there like that okay I don't know if you actually heard that lovely bubbling sound which is telling us that everything appears to be hunky dory let's put the blind cap back on there like so let's get a piece of paper and let's have a writing sample so what we have here is a crone fountain pen as we said earlier, I am dating this particular pen to around about 2003 because that's when it was actually bought. Writing with this pen is actually quite nice. It's very, very smooth. Although saying that, it's also laying down quite a wet, quite a wet line. But all in all, a very nice and smooth writer okay so there we have it there's our writing sample like so very nice to write with a little bit on the wet side to write with but all in all very very smooth and very nice to write with so there we have it the crone vintage select stretch fountain pen as I said before, this one, I'm not sure, is it, is it, well, presumably it's the model, the model name. If I show you the side there, you can see it says Crone, and then just underneath the Crone, it says Coro, or Corazon, or Coro, Corazon, whichever way you want to pronounce it. So you can see the imprint there is very nice and clear. All in all, superb pen in superb condition I think well I think that was the first time it's ever been inked a lovely lovely pen a lovely color for people that like red pens superb so there we have it the Crone Vintage Select stretch fountain pen I hope you've enjoyed looking at this pen as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you lots of other videos on my channel don't be shy go and have a look leave a comment but for now, I'll just say bye-bye now.